Welcome to MultiTeach. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the built-in STEM-related apps in Snowflake MultiTeach. Numbers app is good for reinforcing basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division skills. Tap on the numbers icon to open it. This will lead to a selection screen where you can select an operation. For each operation, students are presented with horizontally oriented math problems. Students move numbered balloons into boxes so that their combined values are equal to the answers in the rightmost boxes. If correct, the square will glow green. If the equation is solved incorrectly, the right box will show the incorrect response in red with an auditory cue, along with the correct response in green. Students can try problems over if they have chosen incorrect solution. At the end of each round, the child is presented with visual feedback such as a picture and a message. Students complete subtraction problems in a similar way to addition problems. For multiplication and division, students first select a flower and balloon with the math facts set they'd like to practice, and then solve the problems by moving the numerals to build equations. Equation bars can be moved about the display to support small groups of students working on different problems simultaneously for each type of equation. Number Play is a group of apps that are good for reviewing math facts and developing math fluency skills. Tap the Number Play icon to open it. This will lead you to a selection screen where you can choose apps for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Students drag numbered items to the correct spots to complete equations. There are 10 rounds for each of these apps. After a round is completed, feedback is provided. Correct items will give off a green glow, and incorrect items will glow red. The students have the opportunity to self-correct. As with other apps in Snowflake MultiTeach, these apps support two or more students working together. They work well when presented in zones with related math apps or teacher-made math lessons. Squares is a teaching aid to help students explore addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and related number patterns. Select the squares icon to begin. The size of the grid can be adjusted by using the slider below the grid, making it good for demonstrating number patterns that are involved in multiplication or division. You can change the orientation of the numbers in the grid by selecting the green button located below the grid to the left of the reset button. The numbers in the grid can be colored by touching them after selecting a color located beneath the grid. Students can use the grid to highlight number patterns while working on math problems. Pressing Reset will clear the colors from the entire grid. The Clock app supports telling time to the hour, half hour, quarter hour, and 20 minutes on an interactive analog clock. Select the Clock app icon from the menu to open it. There are four levels of difficulty and one clock that provides mixed levels. Tap on a clock to open it. Directions for setting the clock appear on the left hand of the screen. Feedback is provided after each try. At the end of a round, the student is given the option to restart and play the round again or return to the main menu and make a new choice. The Clock app works well in zones with related lessons found on the MultiTeach Lessons community, as shown. Here is a demonstration of the Snodoku app in Snowflake MultiTeach. Snodoku can be used to help students with numerical reasoning skills as well as collaborative problem solving skills. After opening the app, students can select a difficulty level. More than one student can join in solving a puzzle. The objective is to fill a 9x9 nine nine grid so that each column, each row, and each of the 9 3x3 three three boxes contains the digits from 1 to 9. If anyone is stuck, simply press the Hint button for help to solve the puzzle. Press the Reset button to reset the puzzle. Select the Back button to return to the Difficulty Level Selection screen, where a new round can be started. Here is an overview of the Geography app in MultiTeach. Select the geography icon. This will open up a selection screen where you'll have two choices, countries of the world and cities and countries. Countries of the world opens with directions. 
The goal is to drag flag tiles to the correct tags on a map. If a tile is placed incorrectly, a flashing glow appears, allowing for self-correction. Feedback is given at the end of each round. Next, we'll open up Cities and Countries, leading to a selection screen containing 35 countries. The goal is to drag the names of cities to the correct tags. After all items are placed, incorrect ones will give off a flashing red glow, allowing for self-correction. Positive feedback is provided after each round. The Habitats app is good for young children who are learning about animals and their habitats. Select the Habitats icon, which will lead to a screen with four categories of habitats and brief instructions. Picture cards of various animals appear on the screen, and students drag them to the correct locations. After the items are placed, incorrect ones will give off a flashing red glow so students can self-correct. After each round, positive feedback is provided. Here's a look at how the Habitat app can be used with lessons from the Multi-Teach Lessons community with the Zones, Rotate, Swap, Full Screen, and Spotlight features. In this example, the Habitats app is in the lower left side. On the top left is a match lesson, on the right is a sentences lesson, and below that, a groups lesson, all displaying interactive content related to the Habitats theme. Here, I'll use the corner icons to access the side menus to swap zones and rotate apps for various uses. Each app in Snowflake Multi-Teach's science category can stand alone or work with other apps and lessons. From the side menu, select Full Screen to open a zone and exit Full Screen to return to the original setup. Each zone can be opened in Full Screen for as long as needed. These lessons and many others are free and can be found on the Multi-Teach Lessons community. The Spotlight feature supports focus on specific parts of the screen and works while lessons and apps are in zones as well as when they are accessed in Full Screen mode. Use the side menu to select the spotlight icon. Select the spotlight to move it about the screen. Press the X to close the spotlight. This has been an overview of the built-in STEM-related apps in Snowflake Multiteach. For more information about Multiteach, the Multiteach Lessons community, and lessons online, visit these links.